All right, you guys, thank you so, so, so much for dialing in to call one of your 12 week fast track to executive series. It is a privilege and honor to be sharing this, you know, kind of technological platform with four other leaders who are not only inspirational and role models of mine in the company, but they're dear friends. And we just are locking arms. We're going to put our strengths together, our creativity together, and hopefully deliver just an amazing, amazing training series for all of you to really help you launch your business and really dive into executive. And so you're going to hear it tonight, you know, um, all of our stories, a little bit about how we kind of know each other, why we're working together, what we really want to be able to pour into you over the next, you know, three months. And really kind of just a little bit of unique flair we all have to get you excited and get you passionate about really what lies ahead for the 90-day game plan. And so before I tell you my story, I first just want to honor all of you for making this time, for making this commitment. We know that you've got busy things going on. I mean, trying to plan this call between the five of us and dealing with just the time zones in the U.S. with the corporate calls and Susan Sly's calls in the UK and, you know, Australia, I was like, oh my gosh, if anybody gets on live, it's going to be a blessing. We thought it'd be like the five of us and everyone would just grab the recording. So you guys, thanks for making this really valuable time important. We so, so, so appreciate it. And we promise to put our heart and soul into everything so that you leave here uplifted, motivated, inspired, and with tangible items on what you actually have to do. We don't want this to be a Kool-Aid party. We want to leave you with the action steps to really go executive and really take your business forward. So the first thing um, besides for that that I'd like to just share with you is we know right now you're like, oh my gosh, what call should I be getting on? And why should I be getting on that call? And there's the two step to executive and there's, you know, the this call and the corporate call and the opportunity call and Renee's call and my call and everything else that just remember all, everything is recorded. Everything is recorded. So life is going to happen for all of us. Don't stress yourself out. You know, you can grab the recording. These are going to be up for 72 hours at a time, and then we're going to take them down. So you'll have time. I do think being on here live and feeling the energy and seeing all of us is great, but we give you the permission to excuse yourself. If you've got things going on, it's okay. The recording's going to be there. But for us, right, what makes us different Corporate has a lot of foundational stuff, a lot of really basic stuff and things that are duplicated, things that are one team, things that are from isogenicsbusiness.com, and they're awesome. They're amazing. If you're not plugging your team into those Step Up to Success calls or the Two Star and Above calls, start plugging in. But if you're looking for something that might be a little bit more raw and real, Aaron dropped two F-bombs earlier today on a little rehearsal call, right? If you're looking for raw and real, if you're looking for, you know, us to be vulnerable about what our wall kicking moments were like, or what did we have to go through and not just take you through a system, but give you a little bit more heart specific to executive, right? We're not just teaching you how to enroll. We're not teaching you to go consultant. We're not teaching you to have a launch party. We're teaching you how to be the next leader and how to do this with others then this is for you and that's what you signed up for. So feel free to ask us questions at any time. Any one of us wants to be here for you, support you, love on you, and all that good stuff. And I'll tell you that when Rach wraps up this call tonight and she outlines for you what your homework's gonna look like, how you're gonna communicate with us, you're gonna think that I no longer carry this whip because I officially have turned the boss shirt over to Rachel because she's put me in check in seven days more than I think anybody else has. So I'll just leave that for you. And um, we are going to bring some goodness to you. So that being said, you guys, I just really want to be able to tell you a little bit about my story, kind of where I came from and why I'm super passionate to be doing what I'm doing every single day alongside Isogenics and this amazing, amazing company and our amazing, amazing products. So a lot of you don't know me, which is awesome. It's fun to see new faces. And I'm so excited to introduce my team to these amazing leaders as well. But but just a few years ago, literally four years ago, as of September, so I mean, I'm just weeks away from my four-year anniversary, I was a burnt out, overwhelmed, overworked, underpaid, exhausted, <laughs> unfulfilled, nutritionist, personal trainer, waitress, bartender. I mean, I was running around like a chicken with its head cut off from job to job to job, working 80 to 100 hours a week, you guys. I have two bachelors. I have two masters. I was $65,000 in student loan debt. And with all of these jobs, I had nothing to show for it at the end because they were all paying me a grand total of $12 to $15 an hour. I, at the time, thought that that was okay. That was my very comfortable, mediocre life. I didn't know anything else 
I'd gotten myself in all this debt, some with credit cards, some with student loans, that I knew I was going to have to work a lot to get myself out of that situation, right? The sun is like blinding me, but that's all right. I'm going to get over it. Um, so I knew that I was going to have to, you know, work a lot to get myself out of that situation. I mean, my whole life was like, go to school, go to college, go to grad school, work for 40 years. I mean, that's literally all that I knew. So I had just accepted my pretty average mediocre life and that's the way things were going to be. And in addition to that, I had run, sprinted away from more network marketing companies than you can imagine, right? I had the biggest skeptic brain to it, much like all of you, I'm sure, you know, I had heard all of the horror stories and it was something that I didn't want any part of because of my clients that had purse parties and makeup parties and everything else. I went to all of their events and because I was a nutritionist, everybody wanted to sell me their pill, their shake, their drink, and I wanted nothing to do with it. And in September of 2013, in 72 hours, my really average mediocre life went downward spiral to my rock bottom faster than I can imagine. And it started on a Friday afternoon because I had filed an extension with the IRS in 2012. I was so paycheck to paycheck, I was not making my quarterly tax payments. Filed the extension, saved up money. I finally paid my debt off to them, which was great. Except it wiped out my checking and savings account. But I was good. I was done with the, the IRS. And I left work that night and I found out that my dad at the time was diagnosed with something called MSA. And I only share that with you because I'm the youngest of four girls. I'm the only one not married. And it would have been the first time in my life that I wasn't like, dad, I need your help. Like I got myself in a situation. I know I just turned 30, but this time I need you, right? That was been the first time I felt like I couldn't do that. And then on Sunday morning, my boyfriend of four and a half years whom I had just moved in with about 60 days prior, sold everything I had to live with this man, broke up with me, said, honey, I love you, but this is not going to work. And I believe that when one door closes, another one opens. But at the time, I was broke. I was broken. I moved into a brand new apartment. And after deposits and first month, I had $17 to my name and clothes. I had pride and ego out here so big that I couldn't even tell the world that I needed help. But that was my situation. And my cousin, who had been a Isogenics avid product user for six and a half years, reached out to somebody who reached out to somebody who reached out to somebody and it went up the food chain to Isogenics millionaire, Jani Elo. I didn't know that back end conversation was happening. My cousin, Shana, had never built the business. She'd seen the vision. And Jani called me and she said, hey, I heard what happened to you and I think I can help you. And I was like, who, where are you? <laughs> like, who are you calling me from? And I tell you guys, and I will get into some of the like ins and outs of everything she told me and how I got to executive so fast and how I've created six and four years and why I'm going to create two more, you know, before 2017 ends throughout our next 12 weeks. But I will tell you that she didn't sell me products and she didn't sell me a comp plan. She sold me a vision for my life. She asked me questions like, what would it be like to go on maternity leave? with the jobs I had now? How would I ever travel and not lose money? How would I ever have a savings account? What would it be like to partner with all these amazing, like-minded people, friends and family around the world in an industry I was already passionate about, health and wellness? And so I said, okay, what do I have to do? And she explained you plus two, them plus two to me. And I had no idea what that meant. My initial like napkin with a Sharpie, because I'd had to like take out food that night that I tried to draw the comp plan on, looks nothing like it should. But she said, what do you need most right now? And I said, a bed. And she said, awesome. Go find two friends that know two friends and we're gonna get you a bed. And that's exactly what I did, you guys. I grabbed my mom, I grabbed my sister. It was a standard that they had to come in with two people. It was a non-negotiable. I had no idea what I was saying. The words out of my mouth were, I don't know, this lady in Spokane says we have to do it with two people. And they said, well, who are yours? And I said, I have my sister and my mom. Now you got to go find your own two. I found my two. And that's what launched me forward. And I set a standard that everybody I enrolled was going to be on the Eat for Free program. Everybody I enrolled was going to go consultant. Everybody has two friends that can be their accountability partner. And it launched my business forward. So I'm going to turn the call over to um, Deanna, who has so much goodness to share. You guys, I will tell you, I fell in love with Deanna the first time I heard her tell her story. She is an inspiration to this company. She's an isogenics millionaire, you guys. She won President's Quest. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's the top eight businesses uh, that are in momentum, that are part of the Leader in Action program. She won that, which is really a testament of who she is, not only with her own success, but the leaders she's created. She's a mom, she's in foster care, and she's just so fun. So I'm so excited to work alongside of you guys the next 12 weeks. I'm going to mute and turn it over to you, beauty. 
Thank you, Lauren. I am so excited for this and to see everybody here. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm super pumped for this. Um, Lauren, I just love hearing your story. I was just totally leaning in because I can totally relate to that. Um, just for those of you who don't know me, I am Deanna Falchuk and I started with Isogenics in late March 2013. I am the proud mom of eight children because I call my son-in-law one of my kids. He's actually on this call. Everybody say hi to Tyler Hudson. Um, <laughs> he's in Denver with my daughter and I have five adopted kids and uh, three from Ethiopia, one from Ukraine, one from Guatemala. And in 2013, when we started, you know, my background had been owning my own entertainment company and business had really slumped and my family was facing foreclosure. Um, my kids were, my husband was working two jobs and we were, we were actually qualified still for Medicaid and um, food stamps. And yet we were trying to do the best that we could. And I was at a loss knowing what to do. And so I was highly stressed out I wanted better nutrition for my family. My youngest child, Alec, was adopted from Ukraine, HIV positive. And so after I adopted him in 2011, I was researching great nutrition while at the same time, I was, we were getting food that was donated to us, um, oftentimes from the food pantries. Um, and they were, we were eating basically expired food. We were like sniffing it and seeing if it was okay. I mean, it was a little, it, it got really, really bad. And I really hit rock bottom, just really feeling the worst. And I was facing making a decision on, uh, on whether I would go with, you know, a, a nine to five job or, or isogenics after somebody introduced me to it after basically a snotty prayer in a parking lot. I was just devastated. Somebody introduced me to isogenics, but I also was thinking maybe I'll take this day job. And my daughter, Matea, had, at the time that I was going to take this day job or take an interview, she said, are you going to make it to my school play? And it just dawned on me that I wanted to be there for her. I didn't want her to look out to the audience when she was, you know, on, you know, in her little play looking for her mom and nobody was there. And my husband and I would be working too hard. So I, you know, I decided to make a decision to dive into isogenics and, you know, worked really, really hard. A little disclaimer here, obviously earnings vary based on, you know, so many different variables, but I just really saw the passion. I saw what it could do for my family. I built a, a team that I call Adoptogenics. I have a lot of friends who have adopted kids and um, went from, you know, making, being heavily into debt into making 100K in six months into becoming an isogenics millionaire in three years. Now, I worked really, really hard. And, um, you know, the biggest piece of advice that I would that I would give all of you guys you know just even going forward is to really start to self-evaluate like really start to think about what you're thinking because when somebody introduced me to network marketing I had a huge bias and all of a sudden I acknowledged my own bias and every day in that six months and past going up to you know 100k and more I had to question why I thought this way my biggest fear if I really break it down and I want to I want to address it now was that I would have to be somebody that I wasn't that I would have to be that guy that knew how to say the right things do the do this dress a certain way you know I couldn't even find a pen in my purse you know I always had like a stain on my shirt for my kids I was not most of the time I wasn't in makeup and then all of a sudden it dawned on me I was like what if I could do this and just be who I am cast a vision to my friends and what if this could really enhance my life and what if everything I thought about network marketing about it being a pyramid scheme and about it having you know a stigma what if instead actually it's the way of the future what if more and more people are working from home actually making a living and what if I could be one of those people making a million dollars and so I kept that thought in my mind I just worked really hard I learned I was self-taught person I went to isogenics business I actually went into the back office because I didn't really have at the time I didn't know who my up 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 line was and um, you know I took it from there so you just had to be self-motivated but yes like Lauren said build build a team around you so that you guys can hold each other accountable I love that advice that Janie gave you to just bring two people in and, and, you know, we're going to talk a little bit more about it, but my, my little takeaway from my intro here is just to really keep your, keep your thoughts and your doubts and your inner dialogue in check and shift it, change it above all else. So. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I didn't know if I you were going to, I didn't know who was going to transfer it over, but I'm more than happy to, 
to bring it back. So you're good. So I want to then, I'll, I'll just pull it out. No worries. I was like, are you going to interview? Well, I, I can got it. Somebody so then that. let's, let's bring out Aaron. And if you guys don't know Aaron, you guys are in for a treat. I don't know how you could be an isogenics and not know him, but if you don't, you've never had the privilege of like listening to him. He's got energy that it, he will fill all of our cups tonight. I mean, literally he's got energy from around the globe, North Hemisphere, South Hemisphere. I mean, this man is incredible. He's passionate, he's smart, he's hardworking, he has a heart of gold. And if you guys have not already known this or done this, I mean, we really should give him a round of applause because he saw me do a fast track to executive training with other leaders in the past. He has a massive team right now in the UK, he's fired up and he actually reached out to me after celebration and was like, hey, what are you doing? How are you working with some people? Like, I have some questions. I said, well, let's do it together. Like, you're fired up, I'm fired up, we do different things. And then it spread like wildfire. And I'm just in love with Deanna and Rachel and Renee that we said, okay, now we have five of us that are gonna do it. But Aaron is really the catalyst to all of this, you guys. He's an ambassador for Team Isogenics. He's a retired professional football player. He's a stay at home dad. And he really just brings so much to the table. So Aaron, if you could talk to us a little bit about belief and kind of tell us your story, we would love to hear from you tonight. Absolutely. And Lauren, thank you so much. You know, you know, I put the Lord in the middle of everything I do. And, you know, I said a little prayer because I had, I had so many people really counting on me and I didn't want to let anybody down. And that means the whole company. And so I, I really, I really take isogenics and I wear it on my sleeve and I go out there every day and I represent this company because I know what it's done for me and I know what it can do with so many others. And so I thank you, Lauren and Renee and, and Rachel and Deanna for really doing this and all of you for committing to be here tonight. You know, a little bit about myself, you know, I felt broken and unfulfilled you know I, uh, I was I was removed from the game that I love because of an injury and so many athletes suffer from that and you know they end up lost you know they, they put all, all they had in that and I was going to the NFL Hall of Fame there was no doubt about that and you know when I got injured I had nothing left however I did go to college and I, I degree and I got in uh, computer engineering and it was great and I made great money but I still felt so empty inside and you know my wife of 22 years now you know she looks back at that time and and she was really tough on me she kept telling me get up off the couch you're not going to sit there and, and sulk you're not going to feel bad for yourself you got more in you you got more in you and I, I just couldn't pull it out and so my younger brother introduced isogenics to me and I felt so just empty and I couldn't really see the opportunity and he introduced me to this and I kept saying no and no and no and no and I'm all sad I'm not working out again and you know what was me but you know when I really saw the vision of what this company was painting I said you know what why not me and it's not about me anymore and one of the things that filled me up inside every day and every game that I played was signing autographs and and being there for these youth and and, and really seeing those light those, those those lives light up and so what I want to talk to you today is that you know this is going to be about belief and really, where do you see yourself in the next 90 days? Because you know what, guys? It's, it all starts with a thought. It all starts with an idea, an emotion that really fills you up inside. And you got to figure out why you're doing this. Who's going to be impacted by this decision that you made to be here tonight, to start this thing off right, and really finish 2017 the way that you deserve to have 2017 end? And we're going to pour everything we have everything we believe, everything we've been through experiences because we're real people. We see possibility. And this company has allowed us to literally have uh, an unlimited amount of seats in a bus. And we can just pick up as many people and say, listen, we're going to go on a ride, y'all. And we don't know where we're going to end up. We're going to have a hell of a time going and doing it. So I'm so fired up. You guys are ready for a ride and we're going to get this thing done. And so start to believe in possibilities. Start to believe in abundance. And start to believe that you deserve more than what you have right now. And it may not be something you can see clearly right now, but I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to be able to be better artists at designing your life and really sit, painting that picture for yourself. So let's rock and roll. Let's get this thing done and i want to hear rachel i want to hear rachel where rachel where you at you've been commenting keeping everybody fired up up on the on the chat here so uh rachel go ahead and uh, set us off um i i'm going last so i'm gonna hand it over to renee but with the comments in the chat guys it's really easy for you guys to be sitting here on this and not be present all right you you're on a facebook page somewhere else you're responding to messages you're doing 20 million things. So stay in the chat, have your notepad, have your pen, stay focused. I'm handing it to Renee. Actually, I'm going to toss it back to Deanna because we got super excited from her story and she wants to really talk about the value of going to executives. So Erin has told us all that we can believe it, that we know that if we can do it, you guys can do it. And trust me, we've all been there. I mean, that's the whole message is at one point we were like, there's no way I can do that. There's absolutely no way. 
when someone believed in us and we believe in you. So Aaron, thank you for pouring that greatness into us. And Deanna, talk to us just a little bit about why executive, like why are yes. we not stopping a consultant? Like why do we just keep building? Okay, yeah, um, I got a little distracted there. So um, first off, we're here, it's fast track to executive, right? Now I went to exec in three weeks just out of like sheer passion, but we have like different, different time frames, you know, different pace, but it is easier, they say, maybe easier, but you know, it's better if you can kind of do it fast. I mean, our goal is to kind of have you guys do it as fast as possible. Granted, it can happen anytime, but, but our job basically is to continue to build consultants and bring people in. So I'll tell you, I went to executive fast and then I called up customer service and I said, is that it? What's next? <laughs> so what I didn't know and what hadn't been explained to me is all of the benefits. You want to always go to the top. You want to aim the highest that you can, right? So I didn't understand that there were things like director's pools. I didn't know that there were the executive pools. And the big thing that I didn't know were the matching bonuses, which, which means you get a 10% bonus with all of your consultants. So you're going to be continuing to, to create consultants, create consultants, create consultants. And um, executive just gives you all, you know, as, as many perks and financial, there's financial bonus beyond, you know, what you normally get. And so, and, and also, I think the one thing, again, I'm talking about mindset, my, in my mind, I was thinking maybe I'll get lucky and somehow somebody, I'll get somebody to come in and then they'll, it'll happen, right? Or I'll get lucky or somebody will put somebody somewhere. We have to be the types of, and this, I think Aaron can relate to this. We have to be the cut types of coaches and leaders that are in the game that are willing to get our, our hands dirty. You know, we need to be able to do the thing that everybody's doing and that we're coaching people to do, to be able to, to recruit people and then, you know, lead them to, to consult it. You'll be creating consultants and managers and directors and executives for as long as you're doing this. That's basically the gig. I use these musicians terms, but that's the gig is to really continue to connect with people, build people, and then teach them how to do it and rinse and repeat. And so, but the value of that is that we are in a company with unlimited potential for us financially. And if you look at that and compare it to anything else that you have in front of you, and that, that was my position. It's like, do I take the social media job where maybe I'll get a 10% raise? Or do I work at this where I have the potential to make unlimited income? With a network marketing company like Isogenics, it was either I was going to make nothing because there's no guarantees, but the possibility. So the possibilities with going executive and working this smart and working this hard and applying all of the rules and applying what we're teaching you now and just getting intentional and making the decision is going to really frame your future for, you know, for just major, major success. So anyhow, we're, 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 we're believing that we can all run. It's a fast track to executive, right? So there's, you know, I think Lauren said that she hit it in a short amount of time and so did I. And we're just believing that all of you can. We really know that you can. And so we're going we're gonna to run it hard and, um, but it's for, it's for, you know, for long-term success for your legacy. And so I just needed to just say that because I forgot. <laughs> now back to Renee. You're so cute, Renee, Deanna. We love you. Awesome. Don't even worry about it. We love you. We love you. There's so much goodness in here. And I want to actually introduce Renee, if it's okay, because I've been introducing you guys. But honestly, hear what Deanna is saying. Eric Cooper once said to me that the compensation plan does not end at executive. It starts. And throughout the next yeah. 12 weeks, and we talked to you about the pools and the executive matches. I mean, just go and know too that executive is not always five and five. I mean, yes, technically you hit it, but you have one return one person that pushes out their auto ship, all of a sudden you're back to paid as director, that I was taught 10 and 10 on each side, ideally 20 and 20. I mean, you've got to have a safety net, some barriers, if you want yeah. to always be paid as executive. And I know I can speak for Deanna and Rachel, me and Renee, that we've never fallen out of executive. I mean, we've hit it, we've never fallen out of it. And it's not because we got there and we're like, oh, we're going to chill. What got us there in the first place of talking to people, following up with people, rank advancing, enrolling, rank advancing, rank advancing others, we've always been doing. Yeah. So let's talk to, uh, with Renee tonight because she's got a beautiful story, you guys. Renee is a five-star crystal executive, five-star golden circle. She's a part of Start 1000. You guys, she is a mom. She says that she fired corporate America, didn't retire. I absolutely love that. I mean, she's hardworking. She won ISA Derby. This girl gets the numbers like nobody's business, but she also gets leadership like nobody's business. So Renee, will you pop out please? We're ready for you, mamas. 
Yes, I'm ready. I'm so excited to be on. Um, <clears throat> hi, everyone. Um, so what I love about this is you'll notice all five of us that came together to bring this to all of you have such different backgrounds, such different backgrounds. And I think that's why we want you guys to hear our stories because each one of us has a different story. So something that we might say might resonate with you. Plus you now have four or five more new business testimonials or stories that you have in your tool belt or in your pockets to share with other people. And that's what this is all about. You know, borrow our belief right now until you have your own. So with that being said, I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to share my story with you. Um, I was introduced to Isogenics, I believe about maybe 10 days after Lauren was, and we are completely not financially connected. The other day she said, oh, will you take a look at my business center? And I said, of course. I go, oh my gosh, our ID numbers are like 40 people apart. Who would have known that we became such great friends and you know, partners in business? So with that being said, I was introduced to Isogenics by Elizabeth Laconi, who was a college acquaintance of mine. She actually, I believe, is on tonight. And that was back in 2013. And when I was introduced to Isogenics, it was 100% selfish and all about me for my health. So if that is you, comment below. Let us know in the chat. If that was you and you came in purely for health, you've had some kind of crazy significant transformation or you're so passionate about this and now you are fueled to share, we want to know because that was me. And I know that's been so many of you. And that's okay if you came in and that's where you started. Because for me, I didn't really tell anybody about this for the first few months, okay? So there was no fast track to executive in my mind at that time. But when somebody laid out for me what was possible here, I hit the ground running and became 100% intentional. So I'll just kind of give you a little bit about my story and why I came in for products. So if any of you ever have any questions regarding, you know, all of our different backgrounds and stories, I was a corporate sales manager. I have about 14 years of corporate sales management, recruiting, et cetera. And I was burnt out. I was hitting a glass ceiling and I wasn't getting paid what I was worth for all of the work that I was doing. I was working over 50 to 60 hours a week. I struggle from a digestive autoimmune disease. And while I will never be healed or cured, um, I was looking for something to elevate my life. And I knew that if I flood my body with the right nutrition, my body would heal itself. So long story short, I called up my doctor and I said, I want to do this cleanse program. And he was like, no, you're not doing a cleanse. Do this new diet. I've done every diet. Okay. I've done it all. And I always got back to where I was started. It was like putting a bandaid over everything, a bandaid, bandaid. No, nothing was really addressing the root cause of my health issues. So long story short, weeks later, I was a new person. So obviously it kind of, you know, woke me up from the inside, all the way to outside people started asking me what I was doing. And it was undeniable that I had this insane health shift. So that's what really fueled me to share was that I was going to be able to help people. I still didn't want anything to do with that, that business thing. But when someone opened up their back office and showed me what the potential was here, my lights turned on. I knew, and whatever your why is, I want you to think about that. For me at the time, it was my husband was working full time and in school full time getting his MBA. We had a sick parent. I had two kids at home and I was working 50, 60 hours a week traveling around the United States. So if you're busy, you're in the right place because busy people blow this business out of the water because you know how to manage your time beautifully. So I always tell people, if I could do it, you could do it. You know where I was taking my messages when I was sitting on the toilet, okay? And I was quickly texting people responses and trying to help people. Or I would take my lunch break and I would cram it into my car so that this way I could go ahead and help as many people as I could. And when I was driving to and from work with my kids or when I dropped them off, I was listening to podcasts. So when I caught the vision, I ran. And I ran super fast. And once I caught it, I went straight to executive within weeks and that's ultimately how I earned the ice the derby trip. Um, I set a goal for myself about four months in when I caught that vision that I wanted to be able to see my son get off and on the bus on his first day of kindergarten. So if you have kids, comment below. Let us know. You know, are your kids your why? Are their kids what drives you? For me, my why evolved. First, it was my health. 
Then it was to pay off some of my husband's student loans. Then it was because I wanted to have some extra income. And then my why became, I wanted to be able to be home with my kids and see my son get on and off the bus on his first day of kindergarten. And then my why has now evolved into helping more people get healthy and helping more people to achieve the freedom that I have to create more six figure earners. So if your why it was evolving, that's beautiful and embrace it, but never forget where you came from. Okay. So once I did that within 10 months, I got to see my very first, I got to see my son get off the bus and on the bus on that very first day. I quit my job a week before school started. So if you have something that's driving you and pushing you, this is your 12 weeks to make it happen. And I 100% without a doubt believe that you can. And it's all about how you position yourself. Like Aaron talked about your belief in yourself, seeing yourself as a leader, seeing you to help these, cre create these consultants, help these people help other people. It's not about you. It's all about helping them. The success will come for you once you focus on helping other people to see the success. And don't forget, you know, how you show up is how you go up. Okay. So, you know, today could have been a great excuse for so many people to get pissy pants because cookies and cream shut down the World Wide web. Right. I mean, listen, I, I saw it all day long and I'm like, guys, where's the gratitude? We just want to be so grateful that we have this opportunity to get this huge boost in our businesses. Think about all the people that you're going to attract with ease into your business. Focus on those amazing things. And you're going to see all these people that you're going to attract and you're going to feel the energy shift across your entire team. So we're setting the stage for momentum. You want to set the stage for momentum in your business and you want your posture to reflect that. So, all right. Now, Rachel, it's all you, Lauren. I'm going to pass it back to you. So awesome. You guys, I'm excited. And I have the privilege and honor of being in a few Facebook threads with Renee with some other girls. And she's like the whippersnapper and the peacekeeper all at once. And I'm like, she must have like 20 people like constantly messaging in Facebook. I come out of yoga and I'm in like 20 threads of her just like calming the storm and like adding fire to like gasoline to the fire at the same time. I'm like, she's just superwoman. So you guys are going to be so grateful to be able to learn from that girl over the next 12 weeks. So if you don't have paper and pen already, I want you to go get paper and pen right now because we're going to leave you with like what you are doing in the very first week to get into action. You guys, we promised each other when we collaborated that this was not going to be a wishy-washy, you know, kumbaya, Kool-Aid call that we were going to get into action. If you're going executive, you have to get your hands dirty. You have to work hard. And Rachel's about to drop some genius and some also requirements. And she's taking a picture of us. So should we all like smile? I just we should have busted that she picked up the picture to do it. I was like, at least warn us. So no one has like their finger up their nose. I hate that. They like post the picture and they look great. Instagram and the rest story, of us are like, babe. <laughs> okay. So Rachel, you guys, I mean, she comes to us from Australia. She's one of the top earners there. She's been, you know, woman of isogenic. She's a top leader in action. She's a part of start 1000, which is, you know, a six figure income earner between um, 18 and 35. She also won president's quest. I mean, you guys are learning from some of the best leaders in the company. And I want you guys to get that. She's fiery and she's so fun. And I have to get my piece of paper and pen to make sure I can hold my people accountable this week. So it's all you boo. Okay. Let's get real. Who's got goosebumps. Did anyone have goosebumps, hands up? Are you guys excited? You know what, it is really easy to come out of the gates right now excited, all right? I want you guys to be excited the whole freaking way, all right? We are not sprinting, we are going for a marathon. And guess what, Isogenics have got the best products to get us through the marathon, agreed? So guys, Firstly, I am from Australia. That's why I sound funny, but I'm currently in Mexico living this incredible, amazing dream life that Isogenics has allowed me to live. So I'm going to start with my story. Then I'm going to start with a few things about how I got to executive. And I'm going to talk to you guys about some things that we're going to be doing this week to get you guys into action. So for those of you who don't know my story, I'm so, so excited to share it with you. And for those of you who've heard it before, Every single time I share my story, I'm becoming more confident with how terrible my life was before. Um, and I'm sharing more and more. And this is going to happen for you guys. I remember when I first started, I just used to share the weight loss. And now I share the real story, the business, what was going on inside. So I was 28 years old. I was a career nurse. I was an intensive care nurse. I'd studied for five years at university to be 
you know, this nurse that come in and save lives. And guess what, guys? Nurses do incredible, amazing things, but it is a hard environment. People die on you. They are not... The nurses that you're working with are meant to be beautiful and supportive and encouraging. Well, guess what? It's not always like that because of the stress. If you want to earn more money and get in front, you have to make, you have to work more hours. Who's in a job like that or who knows somebody, you know, not necessarily nursing. The only way to get in front financially is to earn more money. So what did I do? I was stressed. I was, I was already at the top of my little food chain. I didn't want to be in management. I went and out onto the oil rigs and the mines because I wanted to invest in property. I wanted to be financially free. I, I knew I had that entrepreneurial spirit like every single one of you does. Every single one of you knows you want more, more time, more freedom, more health. You've got it in you. You would not be in this call if you didn't want more. So I thought, you know what, let's go out on the mines and oil rigs and let's, let's invest in property. How much does it cost to invest in property? All right, I worked hard and I saved and I was $1.6 million in debt with four properties at the age of 28. Amazing, hey? I thought I, I thought I was doing really well. I was going to be financially free. I'd retire, retire at 40. Everything would be good. But God had other plans that day. The properties started to decrease in value and decrease in value and decrease in value. And I had no way of paying for them. I didn't tell anybody what was going on, all right? I just went out onto the mines and the oil rigs and worked, 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 worked. To everybody on Facebook, I looked like I was living this great life. I was going on overseas holidays. I was flying in business class. Nobody knew that it was my points. It wasn't really paying for it. I was drinking in my um, time off to try and drown my sorrows. And um, when I was at work, I was eating, 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 right? My friend, and I want you guys to hear this because this is the biggest thing. My friend, my mortgage broker, he was using the products and loved them. He was anti-network marketing. He was anti-isogenics, but he loved the products. And the person that had enrolled him had told him about sharing them with other people. And he didn't enroll me to make money. He didn't enroll me to put me in his business. And what happened was he just said, Rach, call this lady. She'll help you. I was a skeptical. I didn't want to do it. I thought I'd send it back, right? But I tried it. You guys know what happens. Get the products in somebody's body and they love them, don't they? So a phenomenal experience in 90 days absolutely changed my whole entire physical state. I lost heaps of weight. I gained energy. I no longer wanted to jump off the side of the boat. Um, I was waking up before my alarm. Things were going good. And I felt like I'd found the golden ticket. Who feels like they've found the golden ticket? Yep. The, what we did, what we did, what we have here is a gift. It is the golden ticket. People are searching for it. All right. Not only can you get healthy, you can change somebody's financial future. I was not on anybody's list. I, I was making six figures. I wasn't even on my own list. Do you guys get that? I didn't want the business. I was giving my PIBs back to the people, buying people packs because I just love the products. But again, the lady above me kept knocking, kept calling me, kept Facebook harassing me to get to an event. Guys, she asked me over and over and over and over and over to get to uni in action. I'm like, will you leave me alone if I come? And um, you know, the rest, guys, is there. I got to that event. I saw what was possible. Um, my situation at work changed. I had, I had to leave for my mental health the day after uni in action, all right? I had to resign. And what happened then is how I went to executive, but I just want to share something with you. The man who enrolled me has never put anybody underneath me. He's only ever enrolled me and his wife. He makes between five and $10,000 a week. He doesn't show up to events. He does nothing. <laughs> But guess what? I'm so, so grateful for him. I'm so grateful that I'm on his inside leg, that I've built this business because I wouldn't be here right now without him. This business is entirely your business. Every single little thing, um, every action is yours. It's your future. Okay. So, you know, don't have any hard ups against the, against the person who enrolled you. So the short story is then I've gone on in three years to build a 10,000 person downline um, to win all these amazing competitions and do all this stuff. But the real truth of it is, guys, is it's not just me. It is my team, okay? And my team is not just the team that are in my downline. It is isogenics. Every single person is in our team. If we all work together, can you imagine what is going to happen? 
you know, um, for isogenics, for gym, for like Jim and Kathy's vision. Okay. So what I want to talk to you guys about, about is how did I quick, how did I go to executive and I've heard it, you know, speed, speed, speed. I don't want you guys to freak out. I don't want you guys to feel alarmed, but you are here because you want to go executive. I want you guys to draw a line in the sand right now. Okay. Whatever has happened in the past, wherever you've come from, whatever stories you've brought with you, whatever your experience is, whatever training you've been to or whatever training you've missed, whatever negative stuff someone has spoken over you, brush it off, get it away. Today, it starts right now. You show up on these calls and you get here on time. You do the homework. You take the action, okay? There's a few things. How are you guys going to do this? You need to be disciplined. You need to be focused, all right? Focus equals discipline equals real results, okay? You need to... You need to take the action, all right? You need to get rid of all the stories, all the things that are pulling you back and move forward, all right? We, I still can't, I still can't have a great conversation with someone. I'm still a hot mess. I still, you know, the words that come out of my mouth sometimes sound like I've got sand in my mouth. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm still moving forward. You've got to, you've got to keep moving forward. I just want to talk to you guys quickly about a couple of things and, and then we're going to start talking about your homework and stuff. You need to make goals, all right? I want everyone to write on your piece of paper goals, okay? I want them written down. I want one, I want you to have your goals for the whole entire 12 weeks, okay? You need to have a date. It needs to be, it needs to be star cycles. So, you know, how many people are you going to be enrolling a week or a month? How many people are you going to be rank advancing? How many times are you going to be cycling? And what is your rank going to be? And it needs to have a date. You need to believe in it. Guys, you can Google this yourself, but Google smart goals, all right? Realistic, specific, measurable, okay? Um, agreed upon, all those things. Now, I just want to talk to you about your big goals, and then now I want you to break some goals down and have some little goals. And you're going to step away from this call, and I want you to do your goals straight away. A little, a little um, tip from me is when I started, I used to write all my goals out. And I haven't done it for a while and I'm like, wow, I have never wrote on a goal board anything higher than I am now. So I'm committed to all of you. I'm going to be doing this myself. I'm going exec again. You'll see me doing my homework. You'll see me showing up and you'll see every single other leader doing the exact same thing. Because if we expect you to do something, guess what? We are going to do it. All right. So I want you guys to do your goals. Okay. I don't want you to confuse your goals with your vision. Okay, because I see a lot of people in isogenics running around putting their vision in their goals and it's wishy-washy, all right? It is not a goal. Your vision is going to be your vision board and I'm going to talk about that in a second as well. So guys, your homework is going to be your vision board, all right? Now, I'm going to tell you how I do mine and you guys can do them all differently. Involve your kids, all right? You don't need training from me on how to do a vision board. Go and find your favorite things, your family, your health, your business, financial, your spiritual um, goals. Go and find your, your favorite things. Google those pictures. Either print them out or put them in a collage. Put it together. You have it as a screensaver. You have it on your wall. That is your vision board, all right? Have it on the fridge. Involve the kids. Now, with your goals, you need to write them out. You need to, again, have them on a big, massive whiteboard on the fridge somewhere you can see them. Guys, if you don't hit your goal in the first month, you don't stop, you don't quit, you keep going, all right? Don't you? Absolutely. Now, the other thing is with your goals, your goals are to get something. Your goals are to grow and become, all right? You're not going to get to two-star, all right? You are going to be a two-star. Do you guys get that? All right, is that cool? I think that's so, so cool. All right, so, so far your homework, all right, is I want your goals everywhere, all right? But you, your goals and your vision board, all right? Can you guys do that? That's pretty simple. Yeah, now let's talk about your list, okay? Because your list is so, so important and I want your list started from today, all right? Now, imagine if you had a list where you could write anybody's name that you met you, you thought of that you wanted to work with or you wanted to help, okay? We don't, we don't put people on our list that don't have the qualities that we don't want to work with, all right? So 
what I want you guys to do, and not now, but write on that piece of paper, one to 10, and this is not homework, but you need to do it. You need to think of your 10 qualities of somebody, of someone you want to work with, you want to attract, okay? Honorable, efficient, driven, passionate, coachable, okay? Those kind of things. They're the kind of people that you want to work with. Um, fun. And they're the kind of people you're going to write your one to 10. And guess what? They're the kind of people that are going to come to you. Now, um, with your list, spreadsheet, notebook, do whatever works for you. But guys, my biggest regret in Isogenics is not having a master list, all right? So I now use a spreadsheet. I can post it. You guys can do the same thing. It's an Excel spreadsheet. You can save it into Google Drive. You can open it up on your phone. You can open it up on the computer. If you're a husband and wife or a partnership, you can both have it, okay? Um, every single person goes to that. It's not color-coded. Not every single little square is perfectly filled out. It's, the, it's as much information as is relevant to the person, all right? But guess what? In literally two months, I've been able to put a 1,000 people on that, all right? Do you know where those 1,000 people come from? They're brand new. Yeah, I know, the ISA tools. Um, so, that's, so I just want to talk about one more thing with your list, all right? The homework is to watch every ISA movie, okay? And I know that some of you have watched it, but this time watch it with a piece of paper and a pen and write your list from that movie. Who comes into your head while you're watching those movies, okay? And that's you're starting your list. Now, the, um, the, with my list, one category which I think that um, I trained on that everybody loves is a cold, warm, and hot, all right? So I categorise my list into cold, warm, hot. And I just, and they, we change it. We move them around. When someone's hot, guess what I'm doing every single morning? I'm opening that spreadsheet. I'm selecting hot and I'm seeing who's there. And I'm writing on their Facebook. I'm sending them messages. I'm praying that they answer their phone if I call them. All right. And then those warm people, they're the nurturing. And the cold, they're the people that I've never even spoken to about isogenics or the ones that have told me to go away. And when it's rain and cold and, and raining and cold and I'm bored one day, I just start messaging those people. All right. So um, I want to talk to you guys just quickly again, the vision board, do your goals. And I know you've already all done your goals because you had to do them to get onto this, but I want you to review them. I want you to have dates. I want you to be specific. I want to know what we're going to be celebrating for you guys. Okay. Um, the ISA movies, you need to watch all of them. And I want all of you guys to have a specific list system, okay? Whether it's ISA Tools Pro, whether it's a spreadsheet, whether it's your notebook, whatever works for you, because this is what you need to understand. How Renee builds her business is not the same as Diana. And how I build my business is not the same as Lauren. Okay, we're all different. And you guys need to understand that. And the other thing that I want to share with you guys is, this group is loving, supporting, encouraging. We're not competing. We're not comparing. We're not creating stories in our head. Every single one of you is, is fantastic and you, unique and incredible, okay? You're all going to get the success that you deserve, and that, you know, but you can't compare to others, okay? I remember when I started that I used to watch that Peter Kelly and I used to be like, oh, my God, why can't I do, you know, presentations like her and why you know is my team not as big and now that I'm older and I've done that personal development I understand she's different okay so you guys are all going to be different I want you guys when you get off here to go through those things that I've spoken about and do them all right it doesn't have to look good you can be a hot mess this whole 90 days I want you guys to look in the group there is a um, question thread. So any question that you guys have over the next um, 12 weeks, put it there. All right. You've got each other and you've got, you've got five incredible leaders. And there's so many other amazing leaders in this call that are so able to even be running these calls. I'm looking at everyone on the call going, you should be speaking. So there's a question thread, okay? There's going to be a takeaway thread. Because you all know that once you hear something, you've written it down, now you go and post it, okay? And 
you're learning it again. You're cementing it in the brain. Okay. And guess what? Who's excited about prizes? Do you guys get excited about prizes? All right. So we're, I'm going to hand it back to Lauren because I know she loves prizes and she's going to tell you what's up for prizes. Guys, the other thing is we're not going to, um, you can talk to them about the accountability spreadsheet as well. Awesome. Are you guys fired up? Are you excited? Like, oh my gosh, I'm fired up and I'm like taking golden nuggets away. So you guys, it was really fun to kind of put this together. And I promise you over the next 12 weeks, we have a curriculum and we're not going to put that up there of what we think, you know, week two and week three is going to do because you never know where we feel like you guys are at or at the flip of a hat. We say, you know, what, we need to focus more on this than something else, but you're going to learn um, each one of us is going to do two calls. Your last call at the week 12 is going to be a panel where you can just do a Q&A with all of us. You know, we're all going to be available for you. But Renee has two weeks. I've got two weeks. Rachel has two weeks. Erin, Deanna, and we're just going to give you our heart and soul and knowledge that we have. So, Rachel, it looks like a lot of people are asking for your hot, warm, cold spreadsheet of prospects of your list of not prospects, but future customers, future associates. If you could put that as a file, sounds awesome. And then Rachel is the organized one of all of us. And she has really kind of helped create some structure on this page because there's so many of you and we don't want things to get lost that each week there's going to be one thread where it's like, here's your homework. We'll relist everything. And as you're doing it, we just want you to comment in there. Like put a picture of your vision board, put a picture of your list, say your list is done, just write your goals, put a picture of your goals, like, you know, whatever it may be all in one thread. And then we can see who's kind of doing it. The same with the takeaways. I mean, I know that it was fun in this chat and everything, but you're like, oh, what did I really say? Or I want to go back and I want to feel refreshed. Rachel's going to put up a, you know, a little flyer and you'll see week one takeaways and then just comment in there and inspire people that weren't able to be on live. Go back and fuel your cup when you need to get fueled again. And then the last thing in the pinned post, you guys, where the reoccurring Zoom link is, the call-in information, there's also another link to a Google document that we're calling your accountability piece. And we are not going to babysit you, okay? Deanna's not going to call 20 people every Tuesday morning and say, hey, did you do your homework? Rachel's not going to do that. You know, I'm not going to do that. Deanna's not going to do that. Aaron's not going to do that. You guys signed up to go up. So it is your responsibility before the next call to click on that link and just check off that you've done the things that we've done. If you're not doing it, you don't want to be here. And if you really want to be here, take the couple minutes, open it up, let us know you did your three by three, you know, let us know that you've done your homework, like whatever it may be, so that we truly, truly know that you're putting in the time. It's going to take hard work. None of us got to where we are because we got lucky. None of us got here because someone put a rock star in our business. You know, I know that Renee and Rach and Aaron and we all, I actually don't know Deanna hundred percent, but the four of at least five of us are all inside, inside legs. Nobody has been put into our businesses, right? But we did the work. We had the wall kicking moments and much like Renee, we made a choice to not watch TV and listen to podcasts. You know, like Rachel was saying, she drew the line in the sand. She decided she made a decision. And I love what she said about that whole, every time she tells her story, she really gets so much more confident with how miserable her life was before. You guys, we want you all to have something to look forward to. And it can happen as fast as you want. You know, I mean, we know that this is a long-term program but if you want to go fast and you see that speed is sexy don't do three by three do 10 by 10 do 20 by 20 if you want to enroll two people a week you know what talk to 10 or 20 you want to enroll five people a week 10 people a week talk to 40 or 50 people talk to 60 people i mean all of us can tell you i mean i remember the very first event aaron did with me here in denver it was a blizzard you guys it was a freaking <laughs> blizzard and it was blowing snow it was like zero degrees and this man is running around the mall like a crazy person like a kid on a rock star drink grabbing numbers talking to everybody there was like a valet guy outside and i was like what are you doing and he was like i have a goal to get 10 contacts a day and i was like what he was like he's like i was only at like three because i spoke all day he's like i'll be right back and he's running around at this restaurant this shopping mall because that was a goal he had. I mean, he's enrolled and sponsored so many people because he loves what he does. His light is on fire and he talks to everybody. So just, I mean, raise your standards. If you want to go executive, realistically, you're enrolling 100 people because I promise you the first 10 are not going to go find their two. And by the time two maybe did, they're, they're inactive by the next one due. I mean, you've got to go fast. And if you're saying, all right, I'm enrolling 100 people, 
it's going to be more than three by three. And I just want you to be realistic with that. And I love, love, love. This was my favorite takeaway. Honestly, was whoever, I don't even remember anymore, said that busy people do this well. I think it was Renee. Busy people, because we're used to managing our, our time. I was like, oh my gosh, now my intention statement tomorrow was I attract busy people with ease. You know, I used to think like, oh, they're too busy to do this. But as I'm listening to the stories, I'm like, oh my gosh, like so busy, you know, like super, super busy. I was working from 5 a.m. to midnight every day and I figured out how to do this because I wanted it. So you guys look at that link that Rachel just um, posted. I mean, there's her spreadsheet. She'll put it in the page too when this closes, but each week we're going to give you guys prizes and we don't want to feel like, you know, we have to spend a lot of money to motivate you guys because we don't want you to feel like you have to do that. We're gonna give you fun things, things we all love, maybe product that's not available to you. We really wanna put you in the forefront of some great, great leaders. So we're gonna raffle off coaching calls from us. We're gonna hopefully bring Eric and Kathy and Mac out to the lines for you. So just stay tuned each week. But this week, the top and roller, you guys, is going to win a seasonal shake. And we decided we're gonna do that for three people. So the top three enrollers between yesterday and Sunday is going to be awarded one of our seasonal shakes. Deanna made a joke earlier, but I'm going to throw it out there. First place, like flavor of your choice. Second place, we pick. Third place, eggnog. So that's the way it's going to be. So <laughs> first place, you can pick whatever flavor you want. Between all of us, we have every seasonal shake flavor. Chocolate mint, peach mango, pina colada, mocha, whatever it may be, right? Second place, we're picking. Third place, recalled pina colada so no one wants to be in third place you guys get into action so so thankful for all of you guys thank you for your time your commitment we're excited to run with you on tuesdays rachel's going to organize some of the takeaway posts the homework posts get those spreadsheets up and oh she's like it's already done see how efficient she is <laughs> and we'll see you in seven days you guys so lauren yes. so yes. real quick so i want to i want to just share something real quick because honestly i think there's a lot going on in a lot of you guys heads right now you're probably looking at yourself and saying what the hell did I just sign up for? So, so listen, you know, this is part of the growth process. And I know right now we're all in deception, right? We don't know what the 12 weeks are going to look like. We know that we signed up to go, go hard, right? I mean, go really, really, really hard for the next 90 days. And so what I want you guys to do is as soon as you get off this call, I want you to give yourselves about five to 10 seconds and just meditate. Okay, what I mean is just listen to your breath. You may have some kids running around crazy. You may look at your life and say, how the hell am I going to get this done, right? And I want you to embrace that. I want you to celebrate that because now, right, the excitement is gone, right? We go right into deception, right into growth, and it starts as soon as you end this call because the thoughts that are going to go in your head, the things that are going on in your life, all the things that are surrounding you right now are going to change. You're going to be hit with everything but this kitchen sink, and you may get hit with the toilet too, just like we talk about, right? Things are going to happen right now in your life, but as soon as you made that decision to be on this call tonight, you opened up an opportunity for you to grow more, and I want you to embrace that. I want you to celebrate that. I don't want you to look at yourself and say, oh, I can't do this. I want you to say, I must, I will, and I can, and I can, and I will, and I must, and you keep doing that until you make that thought go away in your head because you deserve more, and we're going to get this thing done, y'all. So go out there, seek deception, seek that uncomfort, and let's grow, y'all. Let's make it happen. I'm going to unmute you guys so you can all just say goodnight and goodbye to us. I'm Bye. 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 Bye.